and welcome back to Battletech. My name is Aiken. Today we're continuing the Swan Song campaign and it is time for Nosy Neighbors, which uh, is our next mission in this quadrant. It is about 150 days into the career and we are uh, finally able to field an entire kind of medium-sized uh, mech uh, battalion. Noisy Neighbors will give us yet another sort of million in funds. It's pretty straightforward because all we need to do is fight a battle in the uh, Badlands. As a composition, I think we are going with Tigan on the Vindicator. We got a Blackjack, a Centurion, and our newest, uh, a Centurion as our newest addition as a missile boat, and the Griffin for maximum damage. So both Hogbite and Bradford now are riding the heavier mechs. I think Bradford could sit in front in, in the Blackjack because uh, that is one of these more squishy mechs. Might as well put him in the Vindicator, to be honest. And Mox and Tigan uh, can ride in the middle mechs. That sounds like a plan. Battle means we're fighting against at least one other Lance, potentially even two and we've neglected the salvage it's all about the money here so optimal case we're just finding two light mech lances kill all of them and gain a million credits good time to begin the mission Hogbite is le leading the team with his newfound media mech and the badlands are okay they are not perfect when it comes uh, to heat control but they're generally fine i would think we don't want to step into the hot crystals here and we also don't want to necessarily fight there but tendentially i would like to fight at the ledge so let's move over and see if this here is going to work out for us haven't triggered anything yet Move order received. Good. The moment that we came a bit closer, we're now triggering. Looks like a heavy mech. Ooh. Well, Check doesn't really matter because we, we cannot we cannot um, salvage that Holding mech. What are we dealing with? Oh, a quick draw. Up, Ooh, okay. That guy, however, has 60% damage reduction. Which is nasty. Way too much damage reduction, if you ask me. Black Jake's moving up. Tigan. Let's... Now, we don't need Precise Strike yet. Although, hitting everything is not a bad idea. Might as well go for the head. That was a head hit. Pilot is injured. Fantastic. Two more of these bad boys. And we are going to be fine. Mox begins to unload. He is slowly but surely losing his stability. Affirmative. Ah, uh, there's another mech. Okay. And there is yet another mech. Okay. Well. Their lance is definitely a bit stronger than ours. But so far, it seems to be more or less even. Good, let's move back. We've Used up our chance to hurt them. And now slowly retaliating. Minimal damage on that hit. 
Are you kidding me? Bradford gets hit. Receiving you. Move on out. Good. Let's try to hit that blackjack here. Taking time. That was a very solid hit. Love it. And Vindicator sprints back. Quick draw can't really approach us. Fantastic. They wasted their turn. Ready for orders. Location confirmed. Good, let's go with the black trick first. Engaging with target. Mainly because it does not have 40% but only 20% uh, damage reduction. Good, we're going for vigilance with our blackjack. That will give us a slight, a slight, a tiny advantage when it comes to initiative next turn. Waiting for orders. Moving to position. Centurion moves in, and let's hit this guy. Oh, you gotta love the LRMs. Critical hit, commander. Griffin moves in. Engaging target. And the blackjack effectively is eliminated because it does not have any more weapons. Ready to rock. Good, our blackjack moves over here. Vigilance because it'll take some damage. And let's go for the quick draw. Okay, fair enough. Right arm. Standing by. Has some problems. Vindicator therefore moves Copy further that. back. And the quick draw slowly but surely is getting dismantled. Receiving you. Position confirmed. Hmm. Well, that's still okay. The guy has three more medium lasers left over. Is that really something to sweat about? Or should we go for the LRMs? I think we're going for the LRMs for now. The quick draw has a bit of firepower left. Not much though. Three medium lasers, and that's about it. Right. Who's next? Roger that, Commander. 
20% damage reduction. Copy that. Continuing to hit uh, down hit on good. the quick draw. Port moves into a safe spot. On and there we go. Quick draw is down. All right, the Wolverine finally enters the arena. I think we're going to go for the Griffin uh, next. On top. Lost its evasive maneuvers. And it's almost on the ground. All right, fantastic. Let's go. Inflicted some nasty on that some bitch. Okay, fair enough. Griffin moves over. It's a lot of movement blips. Vindicator. Confirm. Unloads and the guy is almost down. Critical hit, Commander. Right here. Fantastic. Centurion moves up and this here could be a kill. Wolverine needs to die. There's there are no two ways around that. Affirmative. Reducing its initiative. Acknowledge, Commander. And we're fully unloading. I'm on him. Fantastic. The guy, uh, the pilot is almost down. On my way. Taking the shot. Let's reduce his stability. <laughs> the LRMs are just so incredibly nasty. SRM's on top of it, and the Wolverine is almost no longer standing, hitting him the entire time from from the left hand side. Moving to position. There we go. That's a kill. Fantastic. 
go down. We use that stone here quite well. You got it. Here we go. Order. And the Centurion. Confirmed. Fires even more um, LRMs. The LRMs have done a fantastic Back job the in destabilizing. Mission successful. So yeah, quick throw was not the best um, heavy mech, so I'm not particularly afraid to have quote unquote lost that and not be able to loot it. Redford will take a pause here. And we're getting even more funds so for now everything works as expected just getting grinding down all of uh, those missions before we can go into the flashpoint good what else do we have available i need a small mission something fast ambush convoy Looks exactly like that. Twelve salvage is not great. Six hundred thousand is not great either. Nine salvage and two hundred thousand sort of in between. And we still got enough pilots ready, so I think we can do that. Let's do a second mission in this episode. Good, let's deploy the mission. Command interface initiated. Nice. Time to ambush a convoy. This is kind of the standard ambush a convoy mission. Affirmative. This map here I've I've ambushed that no convoy a lot of times. So that would be potentially one of my few points of criticism towards the game. It needs more maps. Our target is within sensor range. But that is what mods are for, so if you ever find yourself uh, wondering, is Saiken going to cover some of the mods? Maybe, if the interest in Battletech is high enough, I would definitely like to review some of the mods. Order, I've been playing uh, Rogue Tech and BTA a bit, both of which are pretty sizable overhauls of the actual game. And I would love Enemy to play them. Detected. But they are, let's say, what Long War is for XCOM 2, so much, much more complicated. A Shadowhawk. Well, luckily we got our spawn protection here, quote unquote. We got all of the evasion blips, so the enemies ain't got nothing on us. I think we're continuing to wait. Fantastic. Good. Absolutely great. So, Vindicator moves Contact. forward. There is the Striker, and there is this Shadowhawk. Copy that. Shadowhawk, by the way, also one of uh, those mechs that I very much adore in the medium mech category. I don't like PPCs though, so Confirm. that guy needs to die soon-ish. Acknowledge, Commander. SRMs, LRMs, uh, yeah, but we'll need to be a kill for the striker. Primary target is taking damage. Primary target is damage, Commander. Keep it up. So much for that little guy. Something I can do. Mm 
Nope. We're going to move right over here. Coordinates received. And the Centurion is a fantastic missile boat. So let's harass the Shadow Hawk. <laughs> Okay, okay. Very well. Griffin moves up. We're potentially going to tank with the Griffin going forward. And the Shadowhawk learned a valuable lesson. Do not fuck around. In the open. You might get burnt. Black Good vindicator. Uh, putting vigilance up just in case. And let's hit this enforcer here. about that 70 70 i think we're not going to get better than 70 percent hey, yo. you got it back check is also taking 20 percent less damage trying to hit that enforcer what's up commander and there we go fantastic inflicted some heavy damage Griffin moves a tiny bit back because the others in front of uh, him will take way less damage. And in the meantime, we're just dismantling that enforcer completely. All right, that's a PPC, that's an LBX. And the last one couldn't really strike us. Order confirmed. All right, Enforcer needs to die. Scored a critical hit. That guy is more sturdy than expected. Ready to rock. Electric weights and I'm let's kill the guy. Fantastic, finally. Tango is trash, Skipper. Light damage, holding firm. All right, we're trying to get rid of uh, the last one. And can we reach this guy? 270, I don't care about the Infernos. This here is making me a little bit worried. The Manticore. Just due to the immense damage output. Damage 
damage minimal. Yeah, the burning gel is a bit of a problem. We're overheating. Warning. <sighs> Alright, Vindicator moves up, Vigilance so that he can tank. And let's hit the Inferno Carrier. Not down, unfortunately. We're still okay with the Vindicator. Took a hard hit there. Skipper, good to go. Centurion moves up, Manticore definitely needs to take more damage. What are your orders, Skipper? Copy that, Commander. Yeah, if we can hit it well, it's going to die. Fantastic. That was one of the major damage Reporting. outputs one of the enemy. Piece. Just gone. We've probably braced. All right, another overheating. I'm taking in. Come on, people, let's make it happen. Commander. Moving to position. Nope, nothing, definitely nothing. And I just end the turn? Apparently not. Hmm. Alright, we're overheating, that's for sure. Quite a bit of structural damage. Alright, the Griffin will need to be moved into safety next. Moving back here. Vigilance. Good, Centurion. Let's hit this demolisher and let's hit it well. Hey, Roger that, Commander. Vigilance. And we're just using the LBX, it. the same weapon that it uses. 20% damage reduction. Yeah, we've taken the hit quite well. Confirm. I got you. Good. So what are we dealing with? 60 points of damage here. 
good. We can we can do that. Uh, okay, apparently we cannot do that. Let's go and reserve. We barely survived that. They're blowing that. through my armor. Aye, aye. All right, demolisher, come on. Standing by. On the move. Got the angle. Taking the shot. Demolisher still does not want to go down. All right. Back check here is completely overheated. He was Enemy trying so hard to shoot into the back. Yeah, we lost both of the arms on the Vindicator. Huh. Hot damn, let's do this. Not optimal. Ready to rock. Sometimes when it rains, it pours. Heavy hits, Commander. Yes, Commander. With the Vindicator, we lost four medium lasers aye, and aye. small laser. Fantastic. Awaiting orders. Well, not my brightest mission, but on Iron Man, there's only so much you can do. Sometimes you do have bad missions. Good. Overall, we are looking at 240,000. That's fine. The Vindicator hurts quite a bit. Shadowhawk is good. And the Enforcer is good as well. Maybe we'll get some medium lasers, at least one of them back. Okay, cool. Yeah, that's another few days lost. I'm less so concerned about kind of the material cost. That really doesn't matter. But the days on the career that is unfortunate good looking at the mech bay it's potentially another 10 days maybe more but so so far so good and we had a few medium lasers over here and here and a small laser over there yeah 14 days i figured that that might happen And yet again the same question is it worth doing the vindicator first or should we do the hunchback i'll go with the vindicator seven more days for the hunchback i would do the hunchback in between this solar system and the next one for now Let's do the 14 days. Bradford and Lily are almost back. Got a new 
financial report for you, Commander. Good. We're definitely going for extravagant again. That work order is complete, boss. Top notch work, if I may say so. So more tech points Drop is what we need. I'll get the crew moving. Because now, as the tech points increase, that whole engineering should go faster. Archbeck is already down to 17 days instead of 21. Vindicator is also down a bit. Good, so we're still at 1050-ish days. Let's level up our pilots if possible. We wanted Hogby to definitely kind of be that ace pilot who is um, riding the larger mech. So that means we're taking sure footing as the second skill. A passive one that uh, gives stability reduction. But what we're really about is ace pilot, which is a fantastic skill Training that we will need Commander. a bit Wait later. Commander? Billy doesn't get Ready anything. All right, Mox. We talked about him. And I think we want to have multi-targeting for him as the first skill. Mech warrior training complete. Yes, Commander. What are your orders, Skipper? And training complete. Finally, Tygen gets some aye, aye. experience as well. It's nice to see that the pilots are slowly but surely becoming better. Now we, I finally get some skills to work with. That will make a lot of difference during the missions to, to use the cooldowns correctly. You can already see that uh, the bulwark has worked wonders for us. As for the remaining contracts, we do have a full lance again, and I think we only need the retaliation. I'll do that the next time because it is a longer mission with the attack and defend, but it is also one with a lot of salvage that we could get. Money-wise, we're doing fine from a ship upgrade perspective. We certainly could use another mech bay, but that would also um, increase our running costs a bit, which is why I typically don't uh, do that. Gives a lot of um, tech points though, so that's good. Um, I tend to first improve all of uh, that and then I'll start upgrading we can also upgrade our um, drive system one more time we definitely got the money for that and another travel reduction by 30% is helpful morale looks good so we're getting all the way to um, the full 50 overall we're doing well with the free world league we are doing okay with the pirates we still want more pirate work so it's important that we continue to do that and everybody else is so and so mercenary rank okay not fantastic yet so it's um, starting to to take shape slowly but surely and uh, that brings us to the end of today's episode uh, next time we're doing a larger, longer mission, which is going to be fun. And once we're done with that, we can finally go with the Flashpoint. Not sure if we're going to survive it, but uh, I will still try to go for it. Let's have a last look at uh, the star map. So, yeah, there is a Flashpoint. We got another one for two and a half over here. So that's potentially something that I would want to do next. Flashpoints are fun. We got another one that is way too difficult over here. One that is pretty good. And rare weapons are a good uh, reward. So that's not bad either. Yeah, the ones over here are too difficult. But yeah, the one down here is a, uh, the starting uh, one for longer chain uh, of multiple flashpoints. And the last flashpoint gives you the thumper. 
uh, pretty nasty assault mech with uh, super good equipment on it. So I definitely want to do that. This flashpoint here could be our next one. So we're essentially playing quite a few flashpoints uh, to, um, to keep the story going. Anyways, that brings us to the end of today's episode. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you enjoy the content, feel free to leave that sweet, sweet comment down below. It helps the channel to grow. And see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.